coming in out of the Mata. big old battle opening stinger. <laughs> what are we supposed to do now? What? <laughs> it's been so long. I'm out of practice. <laughs> yeah. Is something happening now? No. Hold on I'm a sorry. I've been, Eric, I've been away for a while. Wake up! It's all a bad <laughs> dream. <laughs> I apologize. I've, I've been away for well, a while. That was that was really kind of a thud there, Moreland. I mean, I, don't, I didn't. It wasn't feel his fault. <laughs> I didn't feel inspired at all when you yeah. shall, shall we try again? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> yeah, where's our bada buzz? Oh, yeah, okay. Let me give you your bada buzz. You ready? Yeah. ready? Here comes your bada buzz. Here we go. And coming out of the big old battle stinger. Here we go. <laughs> all right, that is better. The Moreland gave us a better. <laughs> Welcome to Wingman's Hangar, episode sixty-three. If you're new to this show, this is kind of an inside look at everything on the making of Descent Underground at Descendant Studios. I am Eric Wingman Peterson. I am Rob Design of Serving. And you're not. Run. <laughs> Quickly. Sorry, we've been we've been we've been we've been doing live streams for the last few weeks because um, our very own Viewmaster was very out. famous, very famous, very famous. Michael Moreland. He, he was director of photography for a feature film, which uh, Mike will tell us about later, I guess. Oh, mayhaps I will. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Sounds pretty good. Mayhaps. That's a new word. Three weeks don't, in Hollywood and some of these all up in here. Don't try using that in Scrabble. Uh, anyway, coming up today, uh, it's we've got some stuff to tell you guys today. We have the Week in Review, we have Forum Feedback, Most Valuable Post, Warrior of the Week, which I don't think we actually have as Warrior not of the Week. So we're not of the doing Warrior of the Week right now because Just kidding. the stats are screwed right now, but we're going to be we're resetting those anyway with the next update. Update? 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 <gasps> what? First of all, we want to thank our new backers. Thank you guys for joining us. Welcome. Yes, welcome. And those are just the ones on our website. We've got a lot more that come in on Steam every day. And then, you know, welcome to the jungle, baby. It gets worse here every day. Is there any more of the song I can remember? Like, live like an animal? Oh, live like an animal. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, thank you very much to our new undergrounders. These are people that are hopefully, while we're watching this, playing the new release. There you go. Thank you, guys. Welcome aboard. And of course, as I said, thousands more people are joining us on Steam. Speaking of Steam, here is our Steam review of the week. From Cremos, Cremoy, Crem. No, what? Crem. What does that say? That says Crem. Cremoisy. See, it's not so easy. From Cremoisa. E. <laughs> Have to admit, I was a little skeptical when I booted this game up, but I actually really enjoyed the reboot. The game feels fluid. The movement through the maps is smooth. Flying around corners and speeding up is really easily controllable and doesn't incite rage. The music is what got me the most, though. It just gave me one of those center of mass happy feelings and brought me back to playing the original game, something that is lost on most reboots or expansion for older gamers. Good job, boys. Keep the patches coming. All right. Good job, Crumb We are Misi. totally to go Moisey. It's just a skin totally rash, keeping the patches coming. It's a skin rats, Kalishi. Oh, no, 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 no. It's no, a dermatologist, no, no, Kalishi. No, 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 I know. No, no, no. I, I'm that, right that one stunk last week. I know. It's, 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 we're going to do it. Now it's just a week it old garbage. Until it's funny. We're going to keep doing it. Well, well I can keep work. editing until, you know, it's funny, so. Oh, uh, yeah. We want that much time. The show will be this long. <laughs> Mike's fingers there's, are there'll bleeding. There will be like a, a minute and a half of show. So, first of all, this is the week in review. And first of all, we kind of have to apologize, man. I mean, it's it's life and development, but... It's this a, has been this a hairy, hell. hairy month. So let's give a little background story. So um, once upon a time, once upon a time, we started to support VR. And, <laughs> and in order to support VR, we uh, Unreal released a new engine update and said has all these VR fixes. So yay, because we, we needed those. We need those. We did need them. So if you notice, like we've had a few negative reviews on Steam because people weren't able to use the VR. They bought the game to play in VR and they Sorry. they couldn't do it. Yeah, well, it was working. And Hard then enough. we upgraded the Unreal Engine, and it broke everything. We couldn't fire our lasers. The, 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 the motor just exploded. Yeah, it just it was terrible. And so it's been about three weeks before we had a working build to figure out all the bugs and get everything working again. And now that doesn't mean we've stopped working, we've, which is a little more risky as well, because while we're trying to fix the lasers and the VR and the gaze input and all this other stuff, we're still making stuff over here that we're putting in. New AI! And everything you're mode. adding, you can't go backwards at that right, point. Right, right. So we're just trying desperately to fix all, all right, this. So That's once, all the week. Right, so once, right, so once we get it working, the first part that was broke working, now we got to go fix the bugs on the new stuff we With introduced. the new AI and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. bug squashing is what we've been doing for almost, uh, almost Four weeks. This now. is a living room sized bug. Yeah, so I mean, if you know squash. my blog post where I gave the next three, few sprints update, we're still on that, but now we're behind. Yeah. 
So welcome to uh, yeah, yeah. game development. Uh, but that being That's said, that being said, while you're watching, we we had a big breakthrough last night. Um, oh God, that was funny as shit. So funny as heck. Funny as beep beep. So we had we had a we had a uh, way too late. We got everything fixed, and then all of a sudden, when you're using VR, everybody could see your shit move, but you. You would <laughs> you would sit there in the same spot on your machine, and you put, I'm not moving, but everybody else that was playing against you a network would see you moving. And it was like, what the hell is going on? And so Tyler found that late last night, and we got to fix it. And that's why the Proving Grounds build should be out. And so that was the last of the squads. Yes. So Believe what do you have, what do we We're have? as frustrated as you are, right, actually, right. maybe more so. So what do we have? Lots of bug squashing. We have new AI. Uh, you're going to notice that a lot. There's there's some some cool stuff going down in the AI, AI department. We'll, we'll have an announcement about that because it, it's a pretty big deal. Um, yeah. You like that? Uh, co-op returns to Proving Grounds, but co-op is now... All the maps. All the maps. All the maps. With not just Incendius. No, no, the bots have changed, and Incendius should be feared, because Incendius is a meanie, and he will steal all your stuff. He is a meanie. Although, when I start putting the new hard bot profiles into the Versus AI, you will see even more people stealing your stuff. So Versus bots is kind of... We've kind of we're working on single player now, and so we had to get all the systems in place for single player to be built upon, and Versus Bots is kind of our little shooting gallery. It's a test range, essentially, for you guys to go in there and play. And now we put co-op in there, there's bot profiles, it's all this it's stuff a, you're gonna really know. It's notice. a chance to get all of our AI functional and in front of you. It's and got eye in there now. To test it, yes, there's a lot of eye and it, it, it The AI will kick your yeah, behind. It does, it does. In fact, Winglet was complaining, Dad, it's too damn hard. I'm like, well, you get better. <laughs> and so, uh, first pass you're also. You're welcome. First pass of Survivor we're working on, too. Indeed, and it is, very far along, actually. It has moved while we were stalled and visually. <laughs> the visibly, map moved along. The, well, the map yeah. moved along, and the actual survival mode moved along, and it's it too bugs darn suck because, hard. Because we like to test our stuff, you know, internally, and we were not able to test Survivor. Like I was like, I could only get in that one area. I couldn't go through the doors. Couldn't, you know. So anyway, it, you get look for that. That'll go to the proving grounds first too. That's underground. If you're not in the underground, you want to test the stuff early. Get in there. Um, and so, you know, rather than us continue to talk about our issues and trials and tribulations, why don't we just show them this week's studio snapshot? Good plan. Oh my god. This is the best the game's ever been. Oh, uh, there's a guy here. Ah! <laughs> got no, 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 no. I got him. I'm gonna die. Another predator. Predator, he obviously told his buddies. Another predator behind that. I'm being chased by a guy who helped me. I've got, I've got your gold me. Dude, I am so hurt right now. I will not make it. There's there a we go. boss body. Where? Oh, man. I love these destructibles that just float around. I don't know yeah. why they're not dying. They're great. But... Yeah, actually, you can shoot them again. But yeah, but they just look cool. Panzer, Panzer yeah, coming your way, Ixley. Got him. Yeah, this is yeah. hella fun right here, man. Underneath blue. I got this cool. It's not nearly as cool as the, the Wrath of the Pixley, but you know, you can only have that so often. <laughs> that was cool. You need to check that out. But. On a brighter note, let's turn it over to Keith with this week's Most Valuable Post. Welcome to Most Valuable Post, where we recognize a member of our community who's made a positive contribution to Descent Underground. This week, we honor somebody who's actually made quite a lot of positive contributions. They've posted video questions for the show, they've uh, made a map and submitted it to the Proving Grounds, and they've also asked some, some really constructive questions. So instead of focusing on one post, we're going to focus on the whole opus. No, that's not the word. The whole canon. So congratulations, Jitris. You made this week's most valuable posts. Well, all right, it's about time Jitris got recognized. Thank you for feeding us an infinite supply of questions because, you know, at least we know somebody's watching. And you know what, yeah, and you know what, he is, I've actually joined his, is on Boom Beach, I've joined his task force. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. 
It's I don't understand what you're supposed to do, but it does seem like fun. Boom so. and beach. I like boom beach. That's pretty cool. Uh, so thanks, Chitris. If you want to get your video on our show, send it in. We don't care whether it's any good, obviously. So just send it in. We'll put it out. Yeah, right. If, if we can be on a show, then you too can be on Anyone a show. Anyone can be on the internet television. So congrats to Jitris, and guess what time it is. What time is it? It's time for... I think it's time for a new head. Yeah, we do need we need more head. Um, mm. It's time for more feedback. Why did I feed him that line? From Ross, Why? Ross Dev ninety twenty two on Steam. I'm having some difficulty keeping up with the latest version of Fast Robots. Will there be difficulty levels as an option? Yes, mm. but okay. So there's two different things at play here. A, yeah, right. there are diff varying difficulties of the robots. Mm. Um, those think, are already being introduced. I think he's now. asking to be able to set the thing on. But there will be difficulty mode a slider, as so well. So. Easy, medium. Actually, what rookie, veteran, ace, and something that we can't. Was it rookie, up. veteran, ace, and like what nightmare or something or whatever we're going to? Something yeah, along yeah. those lines. Yes. And yeah. so yes, those will control a lot of different things to bot behaviors them. and stuff. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how we can dynamically alter their AI and, or hit points or whatever. Well, I mean, that's uh, almost another thing, isn't it? If you say, like, easy, then you just have to set every level. Because, I mean, our, right now the bots are going to ramp up in difficulty so that they're not all just one level of difficulty. That's mostly in survival mode right now. Yeah. You know, versus AI is mostly all mediums right now, although it's still really hard. It's hard. It's, it's even hard in co-op. It's, but you know you have to play a shaman. Why we didn't add more? Right, you have to you have to actually use the roles now, which is pretty cool. Yes, the shaman is useful. So yes, it's wait till they have shamans. Yeah, uh, they have shamans. I know. Wait till they're using them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And right, it'll right. get even worse. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, from Jitrus, and not a video. What? Yeah, he goes. I'd like to build a mining map, but I need more details. Is it mine, haul, drop, and mine again, or mine once, haul, drop, and win? <laughs> Uh, I think mine haul drop and win. Mine haul drop, drop and win. Everybody, <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be uh, mine haul drop and repeat. Wash and repeat. Rinse, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that being said, there might be a case where there's one big. That might be more single player though. There's one big thing to get, and you have to get it out, and you're fighting over it. So like tackle the man with the football or something. But um, but yes, they, this mine will be haul, a, a rinse and repeat. Mine again, right, right. It, it will involve all the different roles working in tandem. The map will be bigger, um, so it will be, you'll need your scouts, you'll need your... Your haulers, you'll, you'll need your haulers and miners. You'll need your, absolutely, you'll need your augers. Healers and engineers Shaman, yeah. and stuff. So the, the idea is that, you know, like you're going to get a, there'll be a contract that goes out from Earth, and it says I need X amount of minerals or, or minerals, whatever it is. And you and your t two teams or three teams or four teams go fight for whoever gets to that level first. And so the idea being that as you're seeing somebody possibly win, your team may change their tactics and go harass these guys so you can pass them up. And, you know, we don't want it to be just like first one to get, you know, first one through the guy with the fastest connection or girl or whatever gets there. So um, a typhoon of typhoons, the, the, the Pixley. It's mine, haul, drop and mine again. To get to a certain level, so that was a I, lot of words to basically say the first one. Yeah, yeah, it is, and don't forget that's that's one of the things we're changing in the wind conditions. And a lot of the uh, they're going to be the wind conditions are going to be more about what the what the uh, game type objective is. objective, uh, right? Objectives, right, right? From Pudlas. Pudlas. Yep, Pudlas. I've noticed on Quality of Life blog post that the rear view was missing. Will it be implemented? So first of all, the blog post is an incomplete list of the stuff we're doing. That was just the highlighted list of what I believe the advisory board suggested would be the most impactful. Um, we're definitely going to be doing the rear view, whether that's implemented in the first quality of life pass or a later one. Uh, I'm not sure right now where it is on the schedule, but so we do have that coming. So don't ever think it's not going to happen. Um, from Zyphon, will there be an option to use Wing Noob as target practice? <laughs> No, he's locked in a closet somewhere. Well, I think I'm not telling you where. I think he might have something to say about that. Target practice. No, 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 no. And that's that's what he has to say about that. Yeah. Uh, I hope you took a bathroom break. <laughs> in spades. How does item spawning work? Does the game keep a tally of all the unused ordnance in the map and spawn replacements as they're used, or what? Or what? Or what? Um. So. Basically, in a nutshell, that is as far as weapons and ammo and... It's my nutshell. Okay. <laughs> as far as weapons and ammo, it is use and uh, respawn. So missiles, for instance, when four of them are used, the four of them come back somewhere in the map. Um, 
Energy and shields are a little more timer based. Um, they're just basically regularly, res regularly respawning. We're not tracking them exactly. We're not going, okay, as soon as you lose 100 shields, the shield power up comes out or anything like that. Um, so it's a mix of the two. There are also some things get just injected into that queue, like weapons, for instance, or additional weapons brought in based on the number of players. So that's that's, and uh, that's a constant balance because we've had times when we've had a proliferation of various items, you know, that show up too many. Ammo. Ammo. First, we had, I think, too many shield. Orbs. Then it was ammo. Yeah, it was that that turned out to be a, a little bit of a bug. Yeah, it was. We right. figured it out. Okay, so from Raptor, an undergrounder, do my eyes deceive me, or have I seen Pixley wearing both Longhorn and sh Sooner shirts? Sooner is hard for you to say. Sooner, sh oh, Sooner there, shirts. Oh, Oklahoma Sooners. Texas Longhorns. Sacrilege. Absolutely yes, sacrilege. No, no. Pixley is a quandary. He's actually um, there are two of him. He went to Oklahoma for his undergrad. And then he went to grad uh, UT for his. Oh no! Wait, was that right? I don't know. No, his parents went to Oklahoma, and he went to UT. Something like that. He's an Oklahoma Sooner fan when they play together, which we still allow him to. Uh, yeah, we don't talk to him we for don't that talk weekend. To him. No, no, at all. Uh, but, yeah. But you know what? It's time for. I think it's time for the Jitris show. I about time. Yeah. <laughs> What is the deadline for map submissions? I'm currently building a map and I'm, I speed up, I slow down, I speed up, I slow down, but I'm not ready to submit my map yet and I was wondering when there's going to be a, an end deadline. I love the Jitris show. This this whole show is about Jitris. Obviously. I know. I mean, well, this is just, the Jitris let's show. Let's just go ahead and back off here and just run my some, boom beach some pal. images of uh, my task force Jitris, pal. yes. Yep. Um, so, uh, map submissions. Well, there's no deadline for those, so you, we're no. going to continue to take submissions. As long as the game is running, maps can come in, and we'll keep and we'll, putting them in there. But that's what the Proving Grounds is for, so you guys can vote and say, I love this one, put this into beautification next. And there are maps in there right now. New there maps. There are new maps coming, coming right hopefully now. right now. Hopefully right now. Right, hopefully right now. Hopefully right now, if you're watching. I'm pretty sure, though. We're, we know think, unforeseen we're, We should do this on Wednesday, and we're sure that we're pretty sure we're releasing today. Um, or sure. tomorrow, hopefully. But... But, but there but, is but, some but. stuff about the map. So you've got, in order for your map to be used by us, you've got to send in your submission form or your admission form. What's what is it? Admission what form? form is it submission mean? form. It's the, yeah. Submission form. So because otherwise we can't use it. So if you've sent in a map and you haven't sent in your form, we're not going to use it. So make sure you send in both, and then we'll be able to get it into the proving grounds. We'll, we'll populate it with the, the items, and then we'll get it into proving grounds. And then people can play it and say, yeah, I love this. Let's put it in next. And so, yes. There's a lot of maps out there. I mean, how many, we have about like 20 or so, right, Keith? Something like 20, 30? A lot of maps Lousers. to go. But yeah, and, and that's fun. That's, that's uh, fun. Most of them have not sent in their forms. If they haven't sent in their forms, we can't use them. So send in your form, your forums. Send in your forums. The forum feedback. I don't know. I don't know. I, it just pops we, We're a little rusty, obviously. I mean, not that it can get much worse than usual, but. Oh. Oh my, Morlin, why do you look so pleased over there? What? What's, oh. what's going on here? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, uh -huh. Part three, well, perhaps, of Drillzy the Musical? Yes! No! It's, it's time for the Drillzy Musical! <laughs> Let's get a drama on. Where are my green M&Ms? <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Okay. I am, I am. Here we go. As you can see from this overpriced monitor, he stalled before becoming completely 3G. Drillzy is now textured. Sorry to break it to you, but there is no saving him. Okay, but can I get thrones on this thing? Yeah, totally. Uh, something seemed a little bit off there. That was just, I think that was, that was your last line there. Yeah, I think you were supposed to sing that. No, I think that's after the thing. I don't know. What is it? I think that's your last line. I, I, I say uh, sing anything you want to. Well, something seems a bit off as this is rock last opera. line. <laughs> oh. That's, it's, uh. I don't want to go, okay, so we could, can we pick it up if something seems a bit off? <laughs> <laughs> something seems really off. There we go, and <laughs> something seems a bit off. <laughs> that was glorious. Something seems a lot off. Glorious. That's oh, glorious. God. Glorious. It's just glorious. 
glorious. I, I like how the you voice was kind of like the, the weakest of, of all of them so far. And, and <laughs> continuity? Heck no! If you listen to all three of them in a row, it's like eight different people. <laughs> well, I, I don't. It's been a while since we did the last drill, Z, so I can't remember the voices I was using. I, I don't think it it's matters. just whichever one's in my head at that oh, moment. Oh, disaster and a half. <laughs> Uh, well, how about some nice potpourri to cover that up? Potpourri? <laughs> well, potpourri. <laughs> so cool. Let's let's take a look at some of the paint jobs we're going to be putting onto some of the drones here. So you can see here, uh, we got the Typhoon green. up there. Green. Yep, yep, green. And so what we're doing now is we're doing interchangeable paint jobs and colors, color schemes. So you can swap out the, the paints, which we've been talking about for a long time. Mm -hmm. Plus, we're also going to add decals to the ships. Mm -hmm. uh, that and skins, so you'll notice that there's different patterns on these as well. Uh, that is ugly. And um, <laughs> that one's purple. Yeah, so, but, I mean, but, but at but the same time, this is just the paint Eric's. jobs, so they're going to be, there'll also be geometry changes coming. This is first stop, yes. and then we'll have geometry changes. We'll adjust the noses, tails, wings, uh, fuselage, stuff like that, but first step. So now you'll see the teams will be, you know, especially, we'll see with the drones. The bots, yeah. The first, I think the, the first they're going to be red, right? We've got a red thing. Is what we're I think doing in survival it? mode they are red. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. So, so that way you'll just, know yeah. when you're co-op, you're blue, red, red, blue. It's typical colors. So that's first step towards it. You'll get to see it. Have fun with it. Is that all very clear? <laughs> Probably not. I didn't think so. But it looks cool. I like I like. I'm still look. reeling from the musical, to be honest. It's time for this week's Hot Topic. <laughs> Cockpits! That's right, we said cockpits! One of the most asked for things on our game has been cockpits! It's so, really a hot topic just because of the way you say it. I mean, <laughs> not it really. Matter. So, uh, why weren't cockpits included initially? Um, because, I mean, initially, it was part of our longer arc for our single player. Single player. Right, right, right. The plan was to introduce drones piloted versus, versus drones. Right, right, right. Yes, right. These, are, these are remote controlled craft, right? So as of right now. Um, but given the fact that we are very, very much into VR, um, it, it turns out that it's, it really is very essential for people's comfort. They've to got have, to have something yeah. stationary, something that moves with their heads where they're, they're feeling if you're inside something. Otherwise, it can be a little nausea-inducing. Inducing. Yes, yes it can. So we're going to break up the HUD onto a physical object. That well, there's the a reason a lot of the VR games that have gone before us have been like cutesy, because you're not really feeling like you're in a, in a virtual environment there. You're sort of in a cartoon, and so you're more willing to deal with movements and stuff in there, where ours is going for a little more photorealistic kind of so look. Ours is really fast moving. Which it is fast is, moving, is it's, but yeah. you know, it's like a roller coaster. We're more of a thrill ride, and they're more of a nice cutesy, let's shoot that bow and arrow. You know, pfft, screw that, let's, you, we're hard, baby. You're gonna be challenged. I have no idea. So that's why cockpits, um, but we also, when we did testing, uh, feedback, so we need to bring cockpits forward. Now, they're gonna be toggleable, so you can turn them on or off. If you're more the non-cockpit type or the cockpit type, their default is on um, because when we're sending this out with the new VR stuff, we want to make sure that people aren't <laughs> getting hurled, hurling up. And, uh, the, and the goal in the long term is to have more than one cockpit. All right, the first variety, cockpit, yeah, but, but we, we take taken the HUD and the cockpit's yeah. designed around that. We're going to be breaking the HUD up and allowing pieces to be moved around so that every time you're in a certain drone, it will have a different look. Uh, that is not yet. That's like polish at the end of the project. So. But this is first pass. Uh, it looks really good. And if you turn around behind you, there might be some funny stuff back there. You never know. Spoiler alert. It's yeah, not yeah. funny. It is funny. Uh, it's an inside joke from another inside joke from a different game that you've never heard of. Which is why it's funny. So it, it's, not even, it's not even an inside joke. One it's, person. It's, yeah, well, to, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so cockpits are there. People have asked, the, the biggest reason is people asked for them. Yes. They, they that's really, 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 that's enough really want for them. us. And we went through a lot of iterations from like a, a B-29 bomber with a lattice work kind of thing in front of you to <clears throat> a lot of different types. And what we ultimately settled on was similar to the first ascent uh, where it's more of a car windshield. It's a frame around you. Yeah, yeah. it's a frame around you. It, it gives you. you that sense of stability, but it does not prevent you from having situational awareness, which is really important. Yeah, and it's really cool. If you're in VR, you can actually look down through your through the floorboards. You can turn around and look left or right. Yeah, I guess they're not floorboards, whatever. You can look down and see the, the whatever's below you. Then you can turn around and look at the back of the cockpit. We'll so have to put some floorboards in one of the Don't forget, these are drones. You won't see hands or feet because you're, you know, you're just right. basically flying a camera. So, But yeah, so cockpits are coming, and uh, I actually like them. They're really good. I'm enjoying playing with them. So time for fan focus. Okay, 
Hey, we're here at Fan Focus, and we've got a couple fans to focus on this week. We've got Def Con X made kind of a, a little tribute video to, well, Drillzy the Musical. He animated it, which is cool. Yeah, let's take a look. Unfortunately, you still have to listen. Yeah, we're going to check it out. It's almost time for this. I'm so excited. It's coming a time for the Drillzy Musical. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you Drillzy? The one and only slime ball. And you are angry, please. How did I get here? I live on the RSI servers. How was this possible? <laughs> no clue, Puss Pocket. Things are beginning strange after one of my buddies made a 3D model of me for fun. Something like that happened to me some time ago. I hope it doesn't affect you as it did me. <laughs> I hate to imagine. What in the name of Bob Barker? <laughs> yes, yes, oh. yes, yes! I weep for the world. I, I weep. bleep and love that! The animation, top notch. The singing, bottom top notch. notch. Bottom notch. Listen, that is the that should be the way we do the musical every time. That was brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. But not to be outdone, Groundhound has been writing an awesome serial story called Corporate Heroes, and he posted another uplink, it's epic. Uh, another update just the other day. Follow this right here. You can read all about it. You might, you might recognize some slight similarities between Groundhound Story and a certain dramatic presentation that Viewmaster and Pixley do on the show. We'll do another one of those real soon. That's kind of, we're, we're taking Groundhound's epic, cool fiction, and we're putting it onto the show. Hopefully it will replace Josie the Musical. Hopefully. Oh my God. Uh, P's heard we're working on ship art, ship decals, and he decided to draw us a piece, I have not seen this, a piece of nose oh, art. News so, to you. let's take a look. <laughs> Anarchy, man! Anarchy! I'm a potato asteroid! Potato asteroid? It looks like I got a vibrator in my left pocket! I don't know what that's about, but... <laughs> it wasn't a pocket, it was like a Completely little... Completely stream of consciousness. <laughs> really. <laughs> Unfiltered. Oh my god. Uh, what do you think, Mike? Should we mine those for some other kind of music? Uh, well, we should mine them for something. I can't tell. Look at, look at the black. He's just totally... You can't see him. Oh, oh, oh there he is. Full of <laughs> <laughs> right, the night is dark and full of terrors, right? Khaleesi, it's just a skin rash, Khaleesi. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Uh, and that was fan focus. And fan focus, right? That was fan focus. That could be my favorite fan focus of all time. So, uh, first of all, big thanks to our agents of the underground. These are people who are streaming our game right now and checking us out. There should be a lot more of those coming soon. Very Some soon. big ones. Let's just say PewDiePie, Angry Joe, Shh. all the big guys are going to be getting our game from it's HCC Live. It's a secret. If they can get over the fact that we're a hardcore, not wussified roller coaster thrill ride and not some nice little flattering little cartoony thing. Anyway, we're doing that. So thanks to the Agents Underground. You guys saw them there. Coming up this week at Descendant Studios, we're releasing co-op. Hopefully released right now already. <clears throat> Playing it already not in very, the very soon. Um, Cockpits, as we talked about. Gaze input is working finally, where when you're using your thing, you can, whichever VR way you look, better. you sort of control the, co the cursor and some of that nature. Um, an AI announcement's coming. There's some uh, there's some, some heavy hitters. We've I don't want to give too much away, but yeah. we've got some really cool AI announcements Another coming. Another secret, which Another we're so good at. Yeah, we're, we're terrible at secrets. <laughs> um, versus bots has improved. We talked a lot about that today. You guys are really, really going to enjoy it, especially co-op. We've had a blast playing co-op It co is right actually now. quite a lot of fun just to play at co-op. Don't forget, get on our Discord server. We've got a Discord server. Get on there, talk to each other while you play. So Discord. you can- Discord. Discord, even. D, D. Discord, which is a little different than Discord. The Discord one is secret. So, <laughs> which, as in non-existent. Secret! The Discord server, get on, because you're going to need it for co-op, especially. Like, if you're going to be playing yes. team stuff and you want to coordinate, you're going to need that. Um, Survivor is coming next. We hope to have had that right now a little further, but again, the bug stopped us. A little us, bit so, of a setback. But it's pretty close. It's, and it's actually, it's, it's moving along quite We still well. have to add the nanofac, which is going in, yes, which is where the, the zone captures. Right, right, right. Um, and the map is huge. It's huge. It's huge. 
Do you remember? The cool thing is, do you remember we were like watching, like we were playing it the other day, and, and, and uh, I got in a little late, so I had, was stuck there just kind of watching things go on, and here goes Rob <laughs> flying by dead. Pieces of Rob flying by my head. That was pretty cool. I liked that. It's because I watched Josie the Musical again. Yeah, probably. Thanks to our underground members and to all our backers. If you want to become a member of the underground and get all this stuff before everybody else, again, the underground is the only place that we're going to be releasing single player missions as we go. So you guys can get in there, play them before everybody else and help us balance them essentially. Um, those will never ever release production. That's going to be our, when we go out of early access, that'll be our get out of early access card. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter channels. Find out what we're up to. Um, see what's going on. Uh, you know, check us out. Just, Friend us on Facebook. We're actually pretty cool guys. Well, Robbie. As, as this show has obviously, obviously yeah. proven, we are really awesome. <laughs> so if you want, really? Submit your, submit your forum feedback questions. Get them in there. We need to, we need to know what you guys are thinking, what you want. Um, Pudless had a really good one this week with, uh, all right, I know it's Puddles. He's one of my, he's one of my faves, though. We will see you all. Underground. thing to me about Juno are the unknowns. So much about the environment that we'll have to withstand is unknown. Nothing's really certain about what's going to happen. It's a monster. It's unforgiving. It's relentless. It's spinning around so fast, it's gravity. It's like a giant slingshot, slinging rocks, dust, electrons, whole comets. Anything that gets close to it becomes its weapon. It just so happens, deep inside this body are the secrets we're after. Secrets about our early solar system. biggest and baddest planet in the solar system and it's got the biggest and baddest radiation and the biggest and baddest magnetic field. The background radiation that we're exposed to on Earth is about a third of a rad. What we expect to see at Jupiter is about 20 million rad. No spacecraft has ever flown this close to Jupiter, flown this deep into the radiation belts. So the real trick is, we gotta go in close, get the data, and get out. And the first time we go in, that's the most dangerous. We call it Jupiter Orbit Insertion. J-O-I. Nothing's really certain about what's going to happen. <laughs>